What was the issue between you and Devontae Schwing? Well, Devontae, like I looked at him again as a, as, a, as a brother. That's one of the producers I was very excited about. Who didn't grow up listening to Joe Dezee? And Devontae is a master at producing. But being on the road with uh, Joe Dezee for the Joe Dezee reunion tour, um, Devontae just kept, you know, he kept saying to me, you know, kept saying, man, why are you on that faggot shit? You a fag now? And, and you know, when he said these things, I was never quiet about it. You know what I mean? I'll, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm 100 all the time. So we kind of got into it and he was like, um, he came out the door one day and he said, tonight, tonight, uh, DB, tonight, man, you, you ain't gonna be on that gay shit. I'm gonna get you some pussy tonight. And I said, I'm gonna get you some dick. And he jumped up like he's gonna say something, but I'm not scared of that little ass nigga. Yeah, so I mean, since that day, like he kind of left, left the tour. But you know, he even since being on the road, I don't want to be on the road with them niggas, man. Them niggas, some of them niggas in that group, spirit ain't right. They don't treat people right. Stealing from each other and all kinds of shit in that group, right? I don't want to be around that shit. And I'm glad he left, cause if had he called me, another faggot, I'd have been on like. Y'all just seen me whip his ass on one of these, on one of these, uh, some shit on the internet. I'd have whooped his ass and anybody ass with him. But I gave him a pass. I don't know if this is true or not, but I always heard this rumor that he used to mistreat, you know, Missy Elliott and Timberland. Is that true? Yeah, he mistreated everybody that he was around. Every, everybody, every artist. As I said, Jodeci ain't never been known for putting nobody on. They had a lot of people that they had but a lot of those artists like left them because of how he treated them he ain't no nicer than should know none of, like same nigga thieving ass nigga he the first nigga i seen with fingernail polish on called me a faggot i always thought he was gay have you personally seen him mistreat you know timberland or missy elliott nah nah you can kind of you can kind of tell about that situation but you know, me and, me and Genuine kind of, you know, had some conversations of, you know, just artist to artist type conversations. And if you can kind of read between the lines, you could tell they weren't the best of situations. But i never seen none of that with my own eyes, no. I did see on the, or I saw on the tour that nigga was weird, like the shit that he would have the people that was on his tour bus do. Like they, they couldn't get back on the tour bus unless they bought a pack. He would give them an empty box of Newports, or an empty box of cigarettes, and they would have to bring back this box of cigarettes full from cigarettes that they asked for people when they got off the bus, and they couldn't get back. I mean, he played them kind of games with, you know, he always sunning the people that's around him. So I don't, I don't put it past him, though. No.